हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस थ्योरी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शंस सो लेट मी फर्स्ट डिफाइन व्हाट इज द प्रोजेक्शन इफ लाइंस आर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम ए डेफिनेट डायरेक्शन इन सच ए मैनर दैट दैट दीज लाइंस टच द आउटलाइन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट then the shadow of this object on a plane is called the projection so this is the object a b c a source of light here and a plane here so you get an image or shadow of this object small a b c this is the projection so this is the source of light s and these lines are called the projectors so projectors are the lines which are drawn from the source of the light to the object or to the plane of the projection and this is the object this is the plane and this is the projection so these projectors can be parallel to each other they can converge at a point like here or they can be parallel and inclined to the plane of projection so when these projectors are parallel to each other parallel to each other and perpendicular to plane of projection perpendicular to plane of projection then the projection is called orthographic projection and when these projectors converge to a point like this then this is called perspective projection perspective projection and when these projectors are parallel to each other but inclined to the plane of projection then the projector of projection obtained is called isometric projection isometric projection so there are three types of projections now orthographic when projectors are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of projection perspective when projectors converge to a point like this and isometric projection is when these projectors are parallel to each other and they are inclined to the plane of projection now in this subject of engineering graphics we will discuss only orthographic projections and therefore when i say projector it is always perpendicular to the plane and projectors are parallel to each other now to draw a projection you need an object you need a source of light and also you need a plane source of light is at infinity because all projectors are parallel to each other object can be placed anywhere and you get projection on a plane to draw projections two reference planes are considered one of them is considered in the direction of gravity and that is called vertical plane vp a plane which is in the direction of gravity is considered as vertical plane and a plane which is perpendicular to vertical plane is called horizontal plane horizontal plane that is hp so these planes extend to infinity in all directions and therefore if these plane will divide the whole universe into four equal parts like this these are the vertical plane and horizontal plane it extends to infinity in this direction as well as in this direction vertical direction as well as horizontal direction and this is called the ground line the intersecting line of two planes that is called ground line gl ground line is intersection of two planes now this part of the plane this part of the space which is above horizontal plane now this is horizontal plane 
This is horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane. This part of the space which is above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane that is called the first quadrant. These planes, horizontal plane, vertical plane, they will divide the whole space into four equal parts and each part is called quadrant. This portion which is above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane that is first quadrant. This is which is above horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane that is called second quadrant. And similarly this is third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. So fourth quadrant is below HP and in front of vertical plane. In front of vertical plane. So you have four quadrants made by two reference planes. Two reference planes are vertical plane and horizontal plane. These planes intersect on a line which is called the ground line. Now you can place the object anywhere in the space and it will fall somewhere in the either first quadrant or second quadrant or third quadrant or fourth quadrant. There are two types of or you can say there are two methods of viewing an object and these methods are called first angle projection and third angle projection. First angle projection and third angle projection. Now let me explain the basic difference between these two. Now I told you there are two reference planes horizontal and vertical and let us say you have planes like this. Now to view an object completely, you need to project it on three planes. One is horizontal plane, one is vertical plane and third plane is taken perpendicular to both of these planes here. Now let us keep an object here. Let us say this is the object and we keep it in the first quadrant. Now when you view this object from the right side, the projection is on the left side. What does it mean? That means the object is placed between the plane and the viewer. Object is placed between the viewer and the plane of projection. So when you are looking from the front side, you get projection on the back side, always on the opposite side of the object. So when you are looking from the right side, you get the projection like this. When you, when you look from the top, from this side, from this side, you get projection on the below the object, below the object. And similarly, when you look from the front, you get projection on the back side, that is here. That is here. So that is the meaning of first angle projection. In first angle projection, the object is placed between the observer and the plane of projection. Now when you place this object, same object here, let us say you place an object here. You place an object here and place the plane between the observer and the object. Here is the observer. So when you, and this plane is transparent in nature and therefore when you look from the right side, you get projection on the right side of the object. So you get the projection here. You get projection here on the right side. Similarly, when you look from the top, you get projection above the object. So that is the difference between 
first angle and third angle. This is first angle projection, this is third angle projection. In first angle projection, object is placed between the observer and the plane. Whereas in third angle, the object, the, the plane is, whereas in third angle projection, the plane is placed between the observer and the object. So in the first angle projection, you get projection on the other side of the viewer, other side of the object. Whereas in case of third angle projection, you get the projection on the same side of the viewer. Now in this course, we will discuss only the first angle projection. And therefore, the object will always be between the observer and the plane. And you get projection on the either on the horizontal plane or in vertical plane or on the third plane. Now let me just explain the projection of points. Let us say again you have a horizontal plane and vertical plane, right? This is HP and this is VP and you have a point here, you have a point here A in the first quadrant. Now projection of this point is again you draw a projector. And when I say projector, I told you projector is perpendicular to the plane. And because there is a single point, so there will be only one projector. So if you draw a projector from this point on horizontal plane, you get a point here. That is called the plan. A, small a, plan. Plan is denoted by a small a. The point in the space is denoted by capital letters. The plan is by small letter, lowercase letters. And similarly, if you draw a projector on vertical plane, then this point here on the vertical plane is called the elevation. Elevation. And that is denoted by a small letter with a dash or prime. So you have a point A in the space and I told you in the orthogonal projection, projectors are perpendicular to the plane. And in first angle projection, the object is placed between the viewer and the plane. And therefore, when you look from the front side, from this side, right side, you get a point here on the vertical plane. So it is similar to like this, that you have a point here and that is the what that wall is vertical plane. So you look from this side and the projection of this will be on the plane on the wall that is the elevation and this elevation is nothing but the height of the point above the horizontal plane. Now if you complete this you get a rectangle here in 3D and this point on the ground line is called the ground point and that is A0. A0. So you have a point in this space is elevation, its plan and its ground point, A0 on the ground line. Now this is the projection of point A in space. Now this is a three dimensional picture, but when you draw on a drawing sheet, you only have a 2D drawing sheet and therefore we convert this figure into a 2D figure. So what we do, we rotate horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree. Okay, always rotate horizontal plane clockwise and 90 degree. So when you rotate this plane, this will be coming down. Okay, this plane will come down to like this. This will be like this. And this point A will be here, below this. If you extend this line, you get point A here. A here. This distance is same, okay, this distance. So A dash in the vertical plane, A is on the ground line, and A is in the horizontal plane, but now horizontal plane is in line with the vertical plane. So three planes will be, two planes will be like this.
two planes will be like this that you have ground line here and if a point here a dash and below this a dash you have flag this is the height of the point this one above the horizontal plane and this is the distance of the point from the vertical plane this distance a a0 so this is the distance a a0 from the vertical plane this is the height of the point above hp above horizontal plane and this is the position of two planes as i told you these planes are infinite in the size and therefore they do not have these boundaries so we remove all these boundaries and this line will be the intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane which we call the ground line and we denote this line by x y x on the left and y on the right so when you remove the boundaries of horizontal plane and vertical plane it becomes above this is your vertical plane below this is horizontal plane and you have elevation here and the plan here and that is the ground line this is the height of the point let us say y distance and this is the distance of the point from horizontal plane this is called orthographic projection of a point lying in first quadrant a dash is above ground line and plan a is below ground line this is the projection of a point which is in the first quadrant that you have a dot a dash above and this is the xy let me take one more example now let us say you have a point which is in the second quadrant here okay a point is here b so draw projection of this point b a perpendicular on horizontal plane a perpendicular on vertical plane and you get the plan and elevation this is the point here b and this is the point here b dash b dash is projected on vertical plane that is perpendicular to vertical plane small b bb is projected on horizontal plane that is the plan this is the elevation and when you join it you get the point on the ground line that is your b0 b0 on the ground line right now to get is 2d rotate horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise remember so this will go up now like this horizontal plane now consider only this part do not consider this part of the space so this horizontal plane will go up it will coincide with the vertical plane so two planes will now be like this that you have a ground line here xy and hp and vp both are above the ground line this will be coincide this will also be the same line here b so b dash and b both will be above ground line and this is b0 now this b can be higher than b dash also depending upon this distance and this distance it can be coincide it can coincide also this point can coincide with b dash also if those distances are same and if you remove these boundaries of the planes that it will be like this that you have a ground line xy and this is b dash and this is b and this is b0 so this is the orthographic projection of a point lying in second quadrant right up this is the point here b dash b b0 now let me take one more example where the point is in the fourth quadrant let us say d point is in the fourth quadrant so here again by definition of projection you drop a perpendicular on hp that gives you point d 
you drop a perpendicular on vertical plane that gives you d dash and this is basically the complete diagram in 3d that is d0 so plan is always by a small letter elevation is always a small letter with a prime and ground point is d0 that is d suffix not or zero so again when you rotate when you rotate this horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so this part will go down now this part will go down so horizontal plane and vertical plane both are now below ground line and d and d dash both will be below ground line so this will be the position now just reverse of the second quadrant you have x y line here and this is the hp as well as vp and these points will be like this one again i would say that d can be lower than d dash depending upon the distances how much distance it is from horizontal plane vertical plane d is below horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane that is quadrant number four projection will be below ground line so this is the point d here this is the point d d and d dash this is d0 this point in the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the fourth quadrant i pause for a minute here and give you a question how will you draw the position of a point which is in the third quadrant a point a point C is let us say 40 millimeter above HP and 30 millimeter behind VP. Draw its projection. Draw its projection. You just pause the video for a moment and try to draw the projection of this point C. So this will be like this. That you have a point C in the third quadrant. You draw a projector on vertical plane, you get C dash. You draw a projector on horizontal plane, you get C. This is the plan, this is the elevation. And now to get the 2D picture, you rotate horizontal plane 90 degree by clockwise direction. So, see here now the plan goes up. This plane will remain same. This plane will remain here. C dash will remain here. C will go up. And it will be in line with the C dash. C will be here. So, this projection will be like this. C will be above and C dash will be below. And this is XY. This is C0. That is the point in third quadrant. So I can plot this point here. This is the point C and this is C dash C0. This is the point in first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. And if you see the fourth quadrant, A is the first quadrant that is above HP, B is also above HP, C below HP and D is also below HP. And what common you see here in A and B is that A dash and B dash both are above XY. And that basically makes rule number one of projection. That if a point is above HP, its elevation will be above ground line. And if the point is below HP, C and D, C and D, its elevation will be below ground line. That is rule number one. And similarly, if you look at A and D, they are in front of vertical plane. And B and C are behind the vertical plane. And A and D, they have plan below ground line. And therefore, when the point is in front of vertical plane, its plan will be below ground line. When the point is behind the vertical plane, B and C, see here B and C are above. B and C are above ground line. So when the point is behind the vertical plane, 
its plan will be above the ground line. So if you remember these two rules of projection, you can draw the projection of any point lying in anywhere in any coordinate. If a point is like here, let us say E in the vertical plane, so this point itself becomes the elevation. If the point is in vertical plane, then this point itself is E dash and its projection on vertical plane will be directly on the ground line here. So this will be the projection E dash and E and E zero will coincide with the plan or you can say plan will coincide with the ground point and that is the height of the point. Height of the point above horizontal plane. So in this case, distance A0, A becomes 0 because this is in the vertical plane. Similarly, if a point is in, let us say here, in the horizontal plane, but behind the vertical plane. So here, it's, this will be the plan and this will be the elevation. Elevation will lie on the ground line. So when you rotate, it will go up in the second quadrant. Remember that because the point is in the is behind the vertical plane and therefore its plan will be above ground line. So this is the F and this is F0 and F dash. So point can have any position, object can have any position. You can draw the projection on vertical plane and horizontal plane. That is the plan and elevation. So you can take some more examples. You can try projections of points in different positions and then in the next lecture we will discuss auxiliary planes. How do we draw projection of points on auxiliary planes? Thank you very much for watching this video. You may write your questions in the comment box.